In this video, we will solve Poisson's equation using the equation interfaces in COMSOL. Poisson's equation is a classic PDE, or partial differential equation, and it's considered an idealized case of conductive or diffusive phenomena like heat transfer or electrostatics. In this case, we're going to solve for Poisson's equation inside of a sphere, and on the surface of the sphere, we will set the value equal to zero. Now by the mechanics with which we define Poisson's equation, we'll actually learn how to use the COMSOL equation interface to implement any PDE, in fact any PDE system that you want. COMSOL provides you with PDE templates so you can set up your own equation. Here we see two different templates, the coefficient form and the general form. Implementing your own PDE then just becomes a matter of matching the coefficients. So for example, in the coefficient form, if we set c equal to 1, f equal to 1, h equal to 1, and then set all the other coefficients equal to 0, we have Poisson's equation. You can also do that using the general form, which is a little bit more compact. Just a quick note about syntax. In COMSOL, when you see ux, that's just the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Let's see what the coefficient form template looks like in the COMSOL user interface. Here we have a node called coefficient form PDE in the model builder, and in the settings window we have the full equation. Coefficient matching then is obvious, c is equal to 1, a is equal to 0, f is equal to 1, etc., and that reduces to Poisson's equation. Now some of the coefficients, like c, have the potential of being tensor quantities, and so COMSOL allows for full anisotropy. We'll just stick with the isotropic case. So that's the coefficient form template, allowing you to implement your equation based on that form. Let's take a look at the boundary condition as well. Remember, we wanted to set the value of u equal to 0 on the boundary, and we just do that by typing in 0 for r. This, again, is a way of coefficient matching. Now, the results are pretty straightforward. In fact, there's an analytic solution to this equation. COMSOL solution matches that. But the main thing with this model is really to see how to implement your own equation using the COMSOL coefficient form template, which we've done here. Now let's have a look at the general form. I've prepared a model already, and I'll just open it here. And when we inspect the equation, you'll notice right away that this is a more compact form. I need to set up the conservative flux vector gamma, and I've done that with minus ux, minus ui, minus uz. That's just minus the gradient of u. And the source term f is equal to 1. This is a stationary problem, so we don't need to worry about the time derivatives. The default boundary condition is 0 flux minus n dot gamma equals 0. But those were all overridden by the Dirichlet boundary condition, u equals r. Now for r, I can specify any analytic function, so I could just type in sine of x plus y plus z, for example. But for comparison purposes, let's just leave it as before r equal to 0. Now when we take a look at the results, you can see that the solution is the same. Again, matching the analytic solution. So there we have it. We've learned how to specify Poisson's equation using the general form PDE. So using the COMSOL PDE templates is a straightforward process of coefficient matching. Whether you use the coefficient form or the general form, you just need to match the coefficient with whatever equation that you're implementing. We've done that for Poisson's equation, but you can also imagine how to do that for whatever PDE you want. These templates make COMSOL one of the most flexible and powerful computational tools available to researchers today, and they can really take your productivity and creativity to a whole new level.